you know when you film a video and it just doesn't go well and you try again and it doesn't go well and you just keep on trying and it doesn't go well that's what I'm having at the moment it's not fun hey guys and welcome back to Tech Genie this is the eighth time I've filmed this video and these are the top three Android home screen setups that you can install in your phone so let's get into this video Okay, so before we do actually get into the video, I know I said we would just then, but we're not going to. I want to say quickly, make sure you follow us on Twitter, that's at TechGenieT3G, and also like us on Facebook as well. We're trying to use as many social media platforms as we can. Now, if you do follow us there, you will see really quickly a GoFundMe page. So just go and have a look at that page and see what that's all about. All I'm gonna tell you on here is that it is to do with November the 8th, and it is an interesting project that my brother and I want to do before November the 8th. So we need your support, and if you're interested in looking at that, I will also also leave the link down below as well okay so don't forget to like this video and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and if you guys want to see another series or want to see this into a series just leave a like and let me know down below in the comments if you want to see that let's see if we can hit 20 likes in this video that would be awesome let's get into this video okay so the first home screen setup I like to call black and white themed setup now there's a simple reason for this the first reason being it's got a black and white wallpaper and the second reason because the entire thing is in black and white now the black and white wallpaper wasn't actually black and white before I just downloaded it off the internet and then I made it black and white using the sort of quick video photo editor within the gallery app on my phone I will probably leave a link down below if I can find it still for this photo as well so if you can download that if you want the first thing you'll notice is this is a two home screen setup and on the first home screen we have a nice diamond shaped widget for the clock and also date now this is all done by Zuper widgets so if you don't have Zuper widget installed make sure you install it if you want to follow through and make some of these as well okay so the first one is by Vadra if you just type into Google you can get Vadra for Zuper widget for free and it is basically if you scroll down you'll see it as the diamond one and it's quite nice because it shows you the time in 24 hour clock it also shows you the date and then in the middle it's got a sort of horizontal bar I'm pretty sure that means your battery life, it's a battery life progress bar. So that is basically just my home screen. I thought it would be quite nice to make that diamond cover the entire screen. And then if I move on to the second home screen, now this is the flat material widget from Zoop Widget. Uh, basically it's an upside down teardrop and I think it looks quite nice. You can get it in two different colors. You can get it in dark and light and light and dark. You'll see when you download it. I've got it with dark and light. Now it shows you the time in 24 hours. It then also shows you the date and it also shows you what the weather will be. Now because I'm in England, it's cloudy and cold. Who could have guessed that, right? And then on the outside, it gives you a nice sort of progress bar of your charge in a sort of teal green color and then shows you the number as well, which is quite nice because I've got my notification bar hidden at the top, so I don't know how much charge I've got. Now, the second thing is the icons. I'm running just a very simple icon pack and it's called, what is it called? It is the Min Icon Pack. There's one problem with this icon pack and it doesn't cover many apps. But if you don't want to put many apps on your home screen, then it's not really a massive problem, which is what I did. So basically, it's just min icon pack and it's just white icons. So this is one of my favorite setups. Okay, so this is the second Android home screen setup. So this has got a nice sort of search bar at the top for Google, and I've set it so when you click on it, it takes you to Google now. Now this is a Zuper widget as well, as with all the other widgets on this phone. Now this is a Fox 4 Zuper widget, and basically it's just the search bar. You'll see it if you download it, it's the second one, and I've made it so it spans the entire thing across the top. Okay, and then secondly, I've got the minimal clock widget for Zuper. There are loads of different ones of these. There are ones in white, black, brown, orange, red, blue, green, and there's loads of different colors, but there are two different fonts. I downloaded it in the sort of gray black color. Then underneath that, I've got Polycon icon pack. This is quite a good icon pack. The resolution of it is a little bit sketchy, but for my phone, it might just be that my phone's got really low quality screen because it is ancient, but it's a very nice icon pack and it works very well with this. Now that is Polycon, not Polygon, so make sure you download the right one. I don't even know if there is a Polygon one, but if there is, don't download that one. And then if I scroll to the right, I have a sort of weather widget thingamajig in the middle. And that is another Zuper widget, and it is a weather widget by Europa. Uh, this is also free to download. And the nice thing about this is it gives you the time, the date, 
also gives you the weather as well um, and it also gives you some search bars and some other buttons that you can program what to use that for as well I just haven't got around to it but I think it looks quite nice with less icons on your home screen which is why I've left the actual app drawer in there so I can get back into the app drawer and use my other apps as well instead of hiding the app drawer and then doing all that stuff yeah Okay, uh, and now in terms of the background, this is a wallpaper from Fox for Zupa. If you download that, it gives you an app. If you go into the app, there are loads of different wallpapers in there. I mean, it's still for me. Okay, so that is the second Android home screen setup. Okay, so this is the third and final Android home screen setup. We made it to the end, guys. We made it. Not that I didn't enjoy doing it, but it's taken me eight tries. Okay, so this one I kind of wanted to go with a nice sort of space material look, and I think it turned out quite nicely in the end. Okay, so on the first home screen page, we have the Vajra Zupa widgets, and it's quite nice because it gives you the time, it gives you the date, and then it gives you the weather very briefly underneath that, which is cloudy. Again, it's Britain. Joke's been done. And then underneath that, I've got the Candy Cons icon pack i think this icon pack is pretty nice i do quite like it and i think it works quite well with this theme now in the background i am just running a wallpaper off the internet i just typed in space flat material wallpaper i will see if i can link it down below if i can't just search one on the internet and you should be able to find one that works now i've made it so the shuttle is kind of to the right of the icon so you can still see the shuttle um and it kind of fits in quite nicely and the cloud icon fortunately because it is cloudy in england the cloud color icon in the clock is also the same as the smoke coming out of the shuttle which i thought was quite cool and then on the second home screen i just have a very simple weather widget i've set it to london the location because i don't want you guys stalking me and finding out where i live this is just to demonstrate where what the weather is like in london again raining right and this one gives you a bit more information it tells you the temperature the minimum temperature and the maximum temperature in this case it's a little bit strange when i'm looking at it now because it says minimum temperature 11 degrees maximum temperature 13 degrees but it's currently 14 which doesn't seem to fit in with the minimum and maximum thing. There must be a reason for that. It also gives you a time and it also gives you a date and then it gives you a sort of weather forecast for Saturday and also Sunday. Okay, so that is basically it. I didn't put anything else on the second home screen because I wanted it just to look quite simple and minimalistic. Now you can also do three home screens and stuff like that, but I wanted to keep it simple. That is it guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. I know a few of you wanted to see some Android stuff, so I brought out some Android stuff and I quite enjoyed doing the video even though it took me forever to record the audio but i will see you next week probably on wednesday where we have a probably a rumors video coming out for the macbook pro so if you want to see that don't forget to click subscribe and stick around for next wednesday's video in the meantime don't forget to live long and prosper